Realizing our dream to move to France came earlier than anticipated. Come with us and enjoy the trials and tribulations that have occurred. Follow me, Joe Harris, my husband Steve, and our gorgeous fox red Labrador Morse on our journey to integrate into French society. Bon courage! I can't quite believe it. We are up to step 14. Another beautiful, if slightly chilly day dawned. The patio was still looking good and the autumn sun shone down on the fields opposite the house. I set about brightening up the front step by painting some three-dimensional butterflies, while Steve carried on with the finishing touches to the bathroom door. It was now looking sturdy with new oak beams, some of which were easier to attach than others. Ted came to help fit the concealed toilet. It was quite sweet watching them pray at the porcelain altar. The tongue and groove surround was continued and a lovely shelf fitted all around, ready for plants and all manner of decor. Water pipes were neatly tucked away, the cupboard hiding the ballon completed and things were looking good. The only thing left was to try out the bath. Please excuse the nudity. <laughs> Just thank your lucky stars, it isn't me. <laughs> Round two, apparently I didn't film any of that. <laughs> so, he's in the bath, in the bathroom, can you believe it? Isn't it incredible? This is our bathroom with a running bath and beautiful oak door that's got holes in it so you can see through. Fantastic sink with those amazing handles. Morsey dog, obviously. Steve in the bath with a lovely bath mat and beer. And beer. Bath and beer after the two and a half weeks I've had built in this room. Mm. I think I deserve it. And that lovely shelf all the way around. So as I said in the earlier video, although I didn't video, so we can have plants and <clears throat> candles and beer. So, and then we're going to have a skylight in the middle there, which will make all the difference. But the lovely down light is there. Ooh, let's hope there's enough bubbles. <laughs> After his bath, Steve put up some shelving in the ballon cupboard. We painted the tongue and groove, what is now firmly known as the Harris Green. And where there had been six tiles behind the basin, there were now more, right down to the floor which I think looked a lot better. The space outside the bathroom looked huge and I so loved the gorgeous chest of drawers. Downstairs, however, there was another perfect piece of furniture that we were proudly going to show off to some friends the next day. So the settle is <laughs> settled in her new home. We've got the fire going because it was so cold when we arrived. Um, but it's baking now, so it's lovely. And there we have Steve. We're just about to have some guests arrive to pick up a painting that I've done. So we've got some pan au chocolat and some coffee waiting. So I know you've all seen this room millions of times, but anyway, it's all echoey in here because we haven't got the shelves up or anything. Ooh, I'm shaking. So that's really lovely. It feels more like home again now. It's not a building site anymore. So... But look at that settle. It's grand. Grand lad. This is an amazing gothic lamp that we found at our local Brocant, which is called Maximums. It suits the bedroom so well, but it was not the only thing that we found. 
Okay, so although we said we wouldn't buy anything, I just suddenly said to Steve, come on, let's go to Maximin and just have a look round. Just have a look round, not to buy anything or anything. Um, but we came back with that beauty. Isn't it gorgeous? And that's five minutes after we got home. Steve had got that hung up and taken all the wires off it and everything. So, and we got that for 20 euros. Isn't it gorgeous? Perfect for in here. And nice big shadows on the wall. Look at the big shadow on the wall. I hadn't noticed that. Mm -hmm. The shadow over the settle. Oh, and there's a beer bottle as usual. Coming round to Steve without the other beer bottle. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> oh, it's not going to say anymore. Okay. And the obligatory glass, glass of wine. The ironwork and wooden chandelier was hidden under a heap of metal plates and rusty horseshoes. When we bought it, it was wired up for electricity. But once cleared of this shackle, and with an addition of some battery-powered candles, we brought it back to life. It just looks better and better as the light fades. So, this is how far we've got with the bathroom so far. It's not actually finished, because there's still lots and lots of pointing and painting and all sorts to do. But it's coming along and it's such a lovely room and it's so I mean it's such a lovely room to have a bath in um, got a little bit of decoration up um, I don't even notice the the walls and the ceiling anymore <laughs> we bought um, this beautiful rug online um, it really is lovely and it just goes perfectly in here. Um, little table for our toothbrushes. Lovely big mirror to look in. As you can see, it's a different one than we showed you earlier on. This one um, matches the chest of drawers. Not the chest of drawers, the um, bookcase. It's a little bit smaller than Mum's one, but this one we had back at the other house. Um, but yeah, it's lovely. And I just wanted to show you what it looks like. Um, when you switch the lights off, it might not, it might not show, but um, here it goes. <laughs> it doesn't show, but if I open the door, perhaps it makes it a bit lighter. No, not really. But we've got little candles here and there, and we always have it like this at night, um, so that we don't have put, to put big lights on. So it's uh, it's fine. So that's all I can show you because outside the door there's some other things that you're not allowed to see yet. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really, really pleased with it. Well, Steve's you know very pleased with it. And um, obviously we've got these little, these little hooks every now and then that he's put in. Um, that Ted and Steve had such a funny joke about, about putting a flannel on one. So we've got a flannel on that one, although that does hold the towel. And then these ones up here. So I just got to find some more hooks for here, so that we can put our dressing gowns up and that sort of thing. But yeah, absolutely splendiferous. Well, thanks again for watching. I'll leave you with my painting of this beautiful dog named Seren. Keep safe and we will see you next time when we wave goodbye to England and begin our new adventure to actually live in France. We will need all the courage we can get. <laughs>